Now your feature entertainer tonight is a well sought after performer and he is known for his special blend of comedy and magic. He performs for corporate events, special events, but perhaps you have seen him on television, on The CW, or on Good Morning America. Or perhaps you have seen him on Penn and Teller's Fool Us. We're so pleased to present him to you tonight. So please welcome the magic of John Mobley. Before we get started, I'm curious. Raise your hand if you've either seen me perform before or have not. <laughs> Most all of you, excellent. I'm here tonight because when I was eight years old, my parents took me to a magic show. It changed my life forever. And they always supported my dream of being a magician. And tonight, it just so happens to be their 40th wedding anniversary. Can we give them a round of applause? They're not here. That would have been a cool moment, right? They've already seen the show, they said. Yeah. I drove up from Indianapolis. Before I left, my wife made me promise that I wouldn't start the show with anything too dangerous. But if we were to do that, it would look something like this. But we're not gonna do anything too dangerous. No, tonight, I'm gonna put my entire reputation and career on the line for you guys. I'm gonna attempt to start everything with a miracle. But before we can do that, I need all of you in this room to think of a drink. Now, you could go with the one in front of you, but that'd be too obvious. Go with, go with a random drink. Do that now, come up with it. And um, your name, please? Bethany. That is correct. <laughs> Uh, Bethany, are you, you're thinking of a drink? Let's do this. In a loud voice, on the count of three, we're gonna try a miracle, are you ready? On the count of three, I want you to name the drink you're thinking. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. One. Focus. <laughs> One, two, three! Orange juice. Okay. <laughs> You know, some show, that's gonna work. <laughs> I'm just so thankful that it's actually today. A nice round of applause. I wanted to follow that up with the most amazing card trick that I've ever seen in the entire world, but I didn't have time to practice, so we're going to do a rope trick. <laughs> you look disappointed, sir. You haven't even seen it. Magician my whole life, the new skill I'm, I'm developing is being a mentalist. So I'm going to tie this with just my mind.
excuse me. Look at this guy right here. Those arms are intimidating. How you doing? You having a good time tonight? Have we ever met before? You seem happy about that. You having a good time, right? Would you be willing to help me out with something? You can stay right here. We only have one microphone, so you're going to have to do most of the talking. You with the mic. Stand up, please. All right. uh, I'm Jeff. Okay. Yes. No. Ace of spades. Ace of spades. <laughs> yes. That's a souvenir, that's for you. Man, I am on fire tonight! Come on! Like I said, used to be a magician, growing in mentalism. What's the difference, guys? Magic is sleight of hand. Mentalism is sleight of mind. I need someone to bring their phone onto this stage right now. Anybody got like a phone? Hold it up if we can use it. We're, oh, right here in the front row. Are you willing to come up? Audience, let her have some applause. Yeah, you've got your phone? Yeah, go ahead and uh, open it up there. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah. I like that, Hannah. Nice smile. Stand here, center stage. Let everybody... Um, tell you what. I'll hold on to this. I don't want you to drop it because you're going to do this. Your job, you can wad that up a little more if you want. Your job is you're going to throw this into the audience. A random person is going to catch it and go for it. While you're doing that, I'm going to try to find your calculator app here. Who has it? Stand up. Yeah, I can't find your calculator. Help me out there. Oh, perfect. All right. Hang on to it. Just right there. Who is it? You have it? Yeah. What's your name? Mark. Mark. <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mark? Little too personal for Mark. <laughs> My mama said, don't touch gray areas. We're not going to go there. Okay. You've got your calculator open. Perfect. Hold it close to yourself so that you can see it, but no one else. Not even uh, Ben over there. You can back up a little bit. I don't want anyone helping me. Yeah. Remind me your name? Thank you for remembering. Hannah! <laughs> no one's going to see this, but right now, I just want you to type into your calculator how old you think I am. And then just hit multiply. Get you there? Um, do you have a favorite number? What's that? Do you have a favorite number? 
What was that answer? Was that? <laughs> Not a favorite like phrase from a commercial. What's up? No, no, no. Number. Yes, I do. <laughs> Twelve. One, two, multiply again. Perfect. We're back on you again. Go ahead and type in how much you think I weigh. And then hit multiply again. Black is very slimming, ladies. I know that's true. Are we in the millions yet? Good. We're back to you. You're going to do our final number. It can be two digits or three digits. Up to you. What's our final number? 22? Okay. Don't seem so excited about it. <laughs> two, two, and then hit equals, because we're going to stop there. You can go ahead and sit down. You don't seem to be enjoying this too much. That's all right. <laughs> Come out for a magic night. Armed, crossed, lips sealed. He's a man of mystery. You'd be a great magician. Let's just stop here. Are you in the millions? Because we do. Okay, good. That's fine. I'm now going to attempt to tell her the numbers on her phone. I'm going to stand back here, pay no attention to the bald spot. <laughs> Especially you up there. <laughs> Hannah, the first number on your phone, is it five? Guys, this is hard. This is really hard. <laughs> Can I join you guys for a second? Okay. Judging by your face, though, I was close. Is it by any chance, is it four? Is it really? No, 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 she said it's in the millions. We got a long way to go, okay. Oh, the next number is five, is that right? Four, oh, it was four, five. Man, I wish my wife was here to see my skills. Okay, she loves my skills. Four, five. What do you think, is it another five? What do you think the next number is? Seven. Is it seven? That's why I'm up here, yeah. <laughs> My wife and I have an 11-month-old. Wakes us up all the time. But last night, I woke up. Yeah, uh-huh. I was having a nightmare. It was this dream where I looked up, and in the sky, there were numbers. And normally I would just forget all about this, but knowing that I had this show coming up, I wrote them down, figuring maybe they'll have significance. Guys, the problem was I didn't have any paper. An exact match. Give her a round of applause. Thank you, Hannah. You can have a seat. Thank you. This is my night. Okay. Well, unfortunately, my time is almost up. But we're gonna try something crazy. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, um, um. <laughs> Sir, get up as fast as you can. I need you on stage. Give him a give him a hand, guys. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's your name? Dan. Dan. Dan, stand right here, Dan. What do you do for a living, Dan? I try to make more money than my children spend. Ooh, I'll do the jokes, Dan. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dan. We've got five bags. You hungry, Dan? Not really. Good. Okay. 
Dan, we've got five bags. Listen to this thud. Every one has a block of wood about the size of a deck of cards. One has something a little bit extra. I just don't remember which one. So, no? No? Ah, here it is. Don't tap too hard. I don't have insurance, but do this. Just give it a tap. Let us know that it, is it in fact sharp. Yes. How sharp? Extremely. Okay. <laughs> Dan, real quick, do you mind staring at this wall? Stare. Yeah. Just don't watch what we're doing at this point. Pay no attention to his bald spot. Dan, come back, come back, come back, Dan. Do you know which one has the nail? One of these five. Uh-huh. <laughs> they know where it is, Dan. It's not fair. You and I got to mix it up one more time. Okay. I'll make sure they can't see. Mix them up as much as you want. Try not to uh, knock one on the floor. Last night, the guy got in a hurry. It fell on the floor. It was really funny, but I hated him. You're done. You can have a seat. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Guys, if this were magic, here's what I would do. I would smash every one of these, leaving one with the nail. But if I were a mentalist, I would let you decide which ones we smash. Let's start back here. How you doing? This is really simple. From left to right, one, two, three, four, five. You just have to tell me. Hopefully you kept track. Which one is safe? Two. This one here? You sure? Let's keep going. Over here, you look a little tense. We're renumbering, one, two, three, four. Which one is safe? Four. How sure? Not at all. At least you're honest. One, two, th four. You can see this has gone wrong before. Okay, here we go. I love you guys tonight, I love you. Back here, oh she passes, okay. Right here, can you help us out? One, two, or three. In case they think I'm changing what you say, hold it up. Two, center. I'm gonna let you have one chance to change your mind. No? Okay. Okay. He's playing this desk like a keyboard. He's, he's a little rattled. One is safe? How sure? What percentage? He said 50. That's funny. Okay. Regardless of this works, you guys have been an amazing audience. Thank you. Here we go.
Get away! 